Hey there YouTubers, this is uh, Mad Jack and this is another in a series of um, occasional and hopefully educational videos in which rather than going out on a Saturday night and possibly enjoying myself no, I elect to stay inside stay in and instead uh, record myself playing some obscure video game I've found usually off uh, Gamersgate because Gamersgate I find is a good source for those sort of obscure titles, particularly Eastern European titles. This one I didn't get off uh, Gamersgate, instead I got it off the enormous digital slush pile that is called Steam. Because that's what Steam is becoming I think these days. Uh, it's just an enormous dump of, it must be terabytes at this point, of digital entertainment. And there's a pipe at the top which is just spewing more titles onto this enormous pile and you know you get the big new titles come out they stay at the top of the pile for a while but then they slide down the sides and they get covered over okay so you don't want to hear this but the point i'm saying is that you know i think steam steam really has done the whole making digital rights management um easy and convenient for the user but i feel that the amount of content that they have now got that they've now consumed means that the tools that they provide for you to actually you know sift through that enormous pile i think is, is actually starting to lack their library is starting to outstrip the basic uh tools of steam anyway okay i'll shut up about that so what have i what have i got this this week well this is a title called bizarre earthquake <laughs> which is a bizarre title and um this is the opening screen and uh, it looks like it's actually what's that a Turkish game so you can either play in Turkish or English so um, excuse me there so anyway let's go for English bizarre earthquake nice bit of music it's a fairly simple straightforward kind of a sorry, excuse me a straightforward kind of a um, loading screen there's two people standing in a field <laughs> okay what do we got extra so there's unlocks required to stand to unlock kansu 95 percent 95 percent of what look for the hot spots that are not labeled in the interior locations and look for the logs all right let's just forget about that for the moment settings okay that's <laughs> It's not even a separate setting for for music, but anyway, is what it is. It's, I should mention, by the way, that this is a point-and-click adventure. It's not an action game. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I can play as either as a guy, or a girl. Well, you know, every other game I play as a guy, so let's play as the girl this time. Where are you going, Kazu? Huh? I'll stay at my girlfriend's tonight. Have fun. Don't miss the house, big head. Big head. Tshush. This is a Turkish game, isn't it? I don't think I said that right, but it is a Turkish game. <laughs> Look at that guy. Ah, she's gone. Party. Two hours later, he's drunk on the floor, passed out. No, she's in the car. I don't like to lie to him, but I couldn't have told him. I would go to Ismet, Lismet and do some research. I'd like to, him to come with me for sure. He's very tired lately. He should rest his... Oh, she's thinking of a boyfriend. That's nice. That's nice. Unless an urgent situation shows up. Well, what's the likelihood of that? Guest house next to the road. I hope they have a vacancy. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right. Big head. <laughs> what? How is she doing down here? It's, it's a dark. Oh, earthquake! Over there, it's the kebab she had earlier. Wow, an earthquake's happening. Yeah, it is. 
Get away from the lake! What's that noise? It's coming from the woods. All behind you. Must be the middle of the night. She's out wandering by the side of the lake. Crazy. I must call Bora immediately. Oh my god, I've dropped my phone! How can I find it in the dark? Here's your no, you can't, because you haven't got your phone, have you? That really takes the biscuit. I will call him from the phone in the guest house. So there's an earthquake and she calls her boyfriend. Hmm. How to play, inspect items. Use a pickup items. Well, that's kind of pretty straightforward. Pick and click. Adventure style controls. Okay. Sunken boat. I wonder why it is sunken. Maybe it had a hole. I shouldn't pick it up. Dark, you're in the middle of nowhere, you probably shouldn't. What's this chart? But zero. I must return to the guest house and call Bora. Alright. So you don't. <clears throat> Alright, well uh, So she's on the shore. It's a guest house, she's got a way to go. Let's go to the guest house. She's got a car. Nice little guest house, really. My god, could you walk any slower? If I double click, it does nothing. Oh man. Come on, the double click in adventure games so that your character runs to where you want them to. That's been around since the 90s. Anyway, look at the sign. Guest house, Anya. Exterior is as elegant as the interior. You haven't been inside yet. How would you know? Okay, go in. Hey, Granny. Is your phone working, Granny? It's working, my dear. I need to call my. I thought it was your boyfriend. Is he your boyfriend or your assistant? Confused. What was this? I can call our home phone. Our home phone. So they are in a relationship, but they're also working together. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's realistic, isn't it? <laughs> Wait for a moment, my girl. He may call you back. I don't have any choice, I'll have to do that. Oh, Jesus. Now what? Ah, oh, the Christ, it's Bora. He's calling back. Oh my god, really? <laughs> I can't skip this. I have to watch the old lady walk across the room. To the phone. Oh my god. Pick it up already. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> but the beautiful girl standing next to me might have called you. Let me put her on the phone, you pervert. Oh, it's just so. Come on, this sort of thing would be handled on TV in 20 seconds. <laughs> I've got to wait for this. Ah, oh, come on. Well, that's where the reversed soundtrack is a bit Twin Peaks. Big head. Ah, oh, yeah, I was worried about you when I was passed out drunk on the floor because I got the place to myself. What are you doing there? Why didn't you tell me? Because you were off. 
7.0 Really? And the guest house is still standing? Istanbul. It is Turkish. Istanbul. That's what he just said. Bora, can you get the... Can you get... I won't say that. Can you get over here? Right now, how about tomorrow morning? Well, that's reasonable. We must start our research in the morning. Why? What's the rush? A herd of seismologists may come here tomorrow. We must start before anyone else and finish it. We will make a difference. Do you have any idea how I can go there in the middle of the night? Don't make me angry, big head. You'll get on a bus which comes here. Good Lord. So the guy gets a couple of days off and then she's ringing up going, I want you to come here in the middle of the freaking night. Drops your phone. It's very bad in the night. There's things on the moors you don't want to talk about. <laughs> Hope you'll find it, dear. You should be here in 20 minutes. Finally, would you sleep with him instead of waiting for me? No, I didn't say that. Don't worry, I'll take care. <laughs> I'm out now. Bye. Oh, look at those hips. <laughs> look, I could forgive the... Oh, my crazy girl. I could forgive... I mean, the graphics are actually quite detailed. I could forgive that, but it just needs... First of all, she needs to... You need to be able to double-click. That's just a basic... I'm not exactly... Uh, exactly drawing me in over a drop bloody cell phone. Can you get... no? What? There's no reason to set up. I want you to get in the car to... Do I have to click the arrow? Oh, well that makes no sense. Okay, back to the shore in the middle of the night to look for your phone. How could you drop your phone? How could you? How couldn't you realize that you had dropped it? Couldn't you? I'm dealing with Bora's caprices. Oh, I love these translations. Dear nobleman doesn't want to travel in the night. Yeah, fair enough. I'm doing my best to be the best seismologist, but he doesn't even care. Should I fire him? Should I hire someone driven? That's your boyfriend you're talking about. What am I doing with him? He always talks back to me. Holy crap, she's cold. <laughs> Just decided to fire him. Uh, what's that? You've discovered a hidden log. Maybe somebody laid that log earlier. Oh, come on. Painful. Did nobody say to the author or authors, you need to be able to move quicker? Look on the dock. zero. What about the sunken boat? Maybe you tossed your cell phone in there. wonder why it's sunken. Because you threw a cell phone in there and it sunk. Oh god, this is painful. Come on, you've got to actually engage your audience from the outset. Finding a hidden cell phone is not interesting at all. There's nothing here. That's why I'm starting to think about this game.
Is this like a pixel hunt? What is this? Left, right, there's nothing here. God damn it, I can't find it. Neither can I. I will come here with Bora and search it again in the morning. I can't see anything in the dark. Ah, good. I have to find it no matter what. Why? All right, let's go back to the guest house. Maybe your boyfriend's showing up in the meantime. Come on! I know this is probably realistic movement speed, but still. Uh. Could you find your phone, dear? I couldn't find it. Has Boa arrived yet? He has. I sent him to his room. He's sleeping now. Good for him. I've decided to fire him. <laughs> Thank God there's no damage, you must be exhausted. Go get some sleep. Aren't you going to sleep, Mom? I don't sleep. Okay then, good night. She's actually watching the big TV screen now. Day one, MASH. Odd choice of a font there, really. Look at this guy. That's how I sleep too. Fully clothed on my back with my leg raised up. Wake up, big! <laughs> Wake up, big head! Did you sleep with your clothes on? Yes, I've only got one character model. What are you? <laughs> it's half past eight. Now get up. We have a lot of work today. Okay, I'm coming. She's gonna fire him. This is really cold. I'll be waiting downstairs. Don't be late. Oh Jesus! This. Yeah, I know how you feel, mate. Jesus Christ. Raining downstairs. She's really got on my nerves. Doesn't even get breakfast? Or coffee? Switching characters is open now. You can switch characters anytime you want by clicking the character. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, all right. It's a nice fruit bowl. Can you grab a fruit? You shouldn't pick it up. How about some cups? You'd like a cup? Can't do it. Kettle? Put the kettle on. Come on, you gotta make coffee. It's 8 in the morning. Potatoes. Bit nut. What's in the fridge? I'm not asking you to pick the fridge up, lady. I'm just asking you to open the fridge. The fridge is suitable for the guest house. It's very large. You know, there are things called domestic dramas. Where it just focuses on people's domestic lives. But, but even those are a bit more accessible than... I better not touch it. Pot. Teapot. Jar of beans. Come on, you want the jar of beans. Every other adventure game, you'd pick up a jar of beans. Foods, foods, foods. Knives. Okay. Kitchen cloth. Oh, come on. Open the cupboard. Do you have a point? Let's go to the guy. Ah, oh, he's down the phone already. This guy's onto it. He doesn't even get a coffee. His boss is coming along, his girlfriend's boss. So there we go, I, I got my cell phone in the shore last night. How could you drop it? You spent a fortune to buy it. I don't know, okay, it just happened. Let's go find it. Jeez, you're making such a big thing out of it. Is she just going to stand there all winsome-like? Grab her. I can't touch her. 
Talk to her. Ah, man, should talk to himself sometimes. All right, talk to yourself. What's going on? I'll talk to you later. <sighs> I wonder if he went in and he could talk to the old lady. Oh, I can't be bothered. Let's just go down to the shore. Yep. Rum, 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 rum. Well, we're looking for her cell phone. Where'd you drop your cell phone? I start quick to you. I'd love to. I just wandered between the dark and the air. It must be somewhere around. Really? Don't panic, let's see for it. A hip movement is not realistic. Alright. Uh, pebbles? Did you drop it in the pebbles? Did you drop it in the pebbles? Let me take a look. God, everything happens so slowly in this game. No? Oh no, there's nothing here. What about the dock? Did you drop it on the dock? You might have. Did you? No, you didn't drop it on the dock. C. It's another thing, you click, there's no visible. It's only down here that you actually get to see what you might be able to click on. Ah. I'm seeing an object at the bottom of the sea. I think it's a cell phone. The bottom of the sea, really? Hey, I think I found it. Come over here. Look at this. I can't fast forward any of this, by the way. I, I apologize for subjecting you to this, but it's just... Gosh, you're so slow. Where is it? The bottom of the sea. It's probably broken down. It's got a winkle on it. Calm down, let's pick it up first. Alright, grab it, mate. Grab it! Oh, that's great. She remains dry while he has to get in the bloody water. Oops, there's too much water in it. So you're saying it'll never work again? It's difficult to say something now. There. I will clean sea salt in it and dry it. I hope it will work. Fair enough. Very important, we're recording weird sounds. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Counting on you, else I'll fire you. Let's go find the epicenter. Where are we going? Oh, the weird sound came from the woods. Of course it did. Let's go there and start our research. Man, she's so cold, she's decided to fire this guy, her boyfriend. Because he's not... He's not committed enough. She calls him up in the middle of the night and goes, Hey, come over here. He's got a couple of days off, he's stressed. Anyway. Here we are. Could you remove the digital seismograph from the trunk and set it up to a suitable ground? Yes, of course, ma'am. I'll do it right away. And she stands like that while he does it. All right. All right, we got the seismograph out of the trunk. I imagine. Yes, there it is. Take the LED indicator and wander around to catch a strong signal. I know you can, so I do it all the time. Okay, big head wise guy. Show me your skills. Uh. Oh, mate, is this how... Alright, I've got a signal, but I don't believe this is actually how... This 
seismography wig. Seismography. Seismograph. I don't think there is. Is there a, such a thing as seismography? Hey, that's looking more promising. Signals are getting stronger here. They've found the epicenter. It's behind some leaves. Come over here. <laughs> I can't even see you anymore. What's going on? I've never seen a crack before. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some pretty large cracks. Come on. Giant crack. Let's look at it. Hmm. There's a red light <laughs> in the crack. Wow. What is that? What does it emit from? I have no idea, but I have to go down to find out. How will you go down? We don't have any tools. We can use the car's tow line. Car's tow line is about five minutes long. It must come next to the crack to get you down by tow line. We can't drive through bushes behind us. They look hard. They're hard bushes. Then we will come back here after we collect required tools. We'll do it tomorrow. Today, fix my phone and enter data to my laptop. What are those other bastards come here and realize the red light? Didn't see anyone arrived at the guest house this morning. They can start to reach. No, blah, blah, blah. You are the boss. These two have a weird relationship. She calls him Big Head and orders a room around. But apparently they live together. Back to the car, matey. We haven't finished our job here yet. Have you got to put this away? Because she's incapable. Okay, we put the gear away. Can we go now? What are you doing? Grab her. <laughs> right. So, back to the guest house. Uh, smartphone, which is apparently full of water. Got to do something about it, have I? Alright, let's go inside. some people here, seismologists no doubt. Can you buy meet the new guests? Thank you, I'm Zio, I'm a seismologist. Oh no, this is Ibru, she's my assistant. <clears throat> she's 10 years younger than me, but whatever, don't look at her like that. We work at the University of Istanbul, I'm Kansu and this is Bora, my assistant. I'm your boyfriend, come on, nice to meet you. I am here for the quiff, Greg. Let me guess the epicenter's around here. We have the same guess. She's lying. We are losing time. We better start our research before it gets dark. See you around. <laughs> Seismologists, eh? They're competitive. What's the old lady doing? She's scrubbing the floor. Well, they find my crack and look inside. Even if they do, they have to wait till tomorrow. They don't have required tools with them. Right, we must get up and move earlier than them tomorrow morning. They don't have a vehicle. We're one step ahead. Anyway, you should concentrate on our issues. Can you fix my phone? <clears throat> Can you fix my phone, please? Worst scenario is it's trash. Big head! Don't worry, I'll do my best. 
I'm going to my room. This is, ah, this is guy. Okay, talk to grab Granny. I can't touch her. No. Talk to Granny. Mom. 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 Stop that. Talk to me. You need something right here. When the new guests arrive. Okay, about half an hour ago now. Oh, they do it all the time. Sorry, son, I can't tell it to you. The guest records are confidential, see? You have the mentality of corporate companies. Ha <laughs> ha my dear. You made me laugh. You bastard. We found Kansu's phone. It was in the sea. Oh, is it broken? It will function again if I can clean sea salt in it and dry it. I hope you'll fix it, my son. Need to mind and dry the phone. Take anything you need, then. Twenty years ago, with my husband. Yes, my dear, he's in eternal sleep. I murdered him in his sleep, you see. Amen. Don't mind me, I'm just going to get back to washing the damn floor. That bloodstains from a previous murder. So he has to... I can't touch myself. <laughs> oh, come on. Door's locked. Don't mind her. Let's go and open the door. Alright. Is that the kitchen? Yeah, it's the kitchen. <clears throat> well, potatoes. Is there anything in here that's going to help him? It's going to help him dry out a cell phone. Stick it in the pot, mate. Probably there's a potato meal in the pot. Or stick, stick the cell phone in the pot. That can't be done. Jar of beans. Oh, come on. Every other adventure game, you take a jar of beans. Olive oil and spices, very popular in the Mediterranean, I hear. No, I may break it down. Okay, what's she doing? She's looking out the window. Alright, so she's in a room, it's the middle of the day. Let's have a look at the wardrobe. Oh, don't talk to her. Just no. I, what? No, I... <laughs> Open the wardrobe. Oh, come on. Alright, let's use your, cell, your laptop, rather. <sighs> ah. What do these icons mean? EQ 2.0. I must mark the epicenter by using the red pointer. Oh man. Well, it was up uh, where, the, where the forest was, up around here. Front of Ash. Friends. Hey, Ash. Are you there? Answer me! She's offline. What about Fatma? Fatma! Fatma's offline. Hey, baby! None of your, your friends hate you. <laughs> That's why you're off there offline. No device has been found to connect. 
I must mark the epicenter by using the red pointer. Not the right spot. It's not the right spot, you idiot. Oh, I don't know. It was up around the woods somewhere, around here. Uh. No. Nope. Can I get out of here? How do I exit? Exit. Seems rather arbitrary, but anyway, let's go back to the Bonu or Big Head. What are you doing, mate? Oh, I just still gotta find a way to. Open the door. I don't get the logic. Well, why not? Oh, come on. Move, run. I don't know which room's key it is. Well, what's this? It's a flyer of Candera Yogurt Festival. It's expired, but Mrs. Anya forgot to remove it. Well, let's take it. I can't touch myself, not here. Ah, oh, Jesus. I can't do it. You use the phone? What about the... It's the guest book. Well, look at the guest book. Son of a bitch! Talk to her then. Mom! Mom! Mom, stop that! Talk to me! Oh, she gotta get up! And that music, it's just like, ah, uh, it's not apropos of anything. Can you go up the stairs? Stairs. Yes. Statuette. You've discovered a secret spot. What does that mean? Oh my god. Hello. This is so painful. Door. So you can go in there, all right? Well, Grab her, I can't touch her. I see a third of the earthquake. You know me, boy, I always think earthquakes are not natural disasters. That's why I have trouble with the Dean. What? You're not alone this time, I think the same. 
Yes, think about it. We saw the largest crack we've ever seen. Then we saw the red light flashing it. Do you think it's normal? Really, you're a creationist theory when it comes to... It's not normal, of course. I forgot to tell you something. The light bulb exploded at home during the earthquake. <gasps> there you go. Another proof. Light bulb can only explode by disorder of voltage. Did you feel... Fix your phone, trust me. I'm counting on you, big head. Me too, I can make it. You're wrong. It's close to both the sea and the woods. People will enjoy peaceful places like this. Guest house was usually full. We're lucky to have rooms, big head. Weird relationship. I heard they are familiar here. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Yeah, have a look in a bus, laundry basket. Of course you do. Go on, open it. They reveal themselves everywhere. What the hell? And every time this bloody music starts up, and I... Uh, nothing I can do. There's all this stuff, but none of it is bloody clickable or usable. And this icon here does nothing. There's no point to that icon doesn't open anything. You've actually got to go to one of these other ones for it to have any effect. <sighs> Can you walk into somebody else's room randomly? No? Yes, you can walk into that. So that's my room, I guess. Ugh. Me. Of course you can't do it. <laughs> I don't want to know that. Uh, okay, I think I've had enough. First of all, it's so tedious to play. I mean, the, there's actually a, a whole lot of really interesting detail in the world in terms of it being from a different culture and there's a lot of a lot of effort has been put into the rooms in terms of this looks like a different culture this looks looks like the sort of thing you might expect when you go to a Turkish guest house and the setup is interesting you know you've got strange a strange earthquake whatever but the mechanics are so clunky Everybody takes so long to get around. There's all sorts of stuff you can click on that... Nightstand. I don't want to tamper it. I'm getting that message way too often. If there's no point to doing anything with this. 
It's a nightstand for knights. <laughs> if there's no point to doing anything with it, don't make it clickable. Seriously, I mean... And the fact that you can't double click and have your character go and do run over to what they're doing and do it quickly. I mean, that's the sort of thing that was established back in the 90s. So, writing desk. I can only take so long. This is nonsense. I know I may break it down. No way. So writing desk for writing. I don't want to carry with me. And see this this icon doesn't even do anything. So I'd have to say that it's really it's hugely flawed. Anyway, that's the end of this week's um let's play an obscure game. It's a, ends up with Bora standing in the corner looking out of the Looking out at a world, he's going to stay there forever. Sorry, Bora. Bye.